Hi guys, in today's video we're going to be reviewing the Iwata Highline HP BH Airbrush. But first of all I want to say a huge thank you to airbrushes.com who sent me out the airbrush for review. If you check the description box down below you'll find a direct link to their web store and this link you can find out more information about the Highline HP BH Iwata Airbrush and other fantastic products they sell on their web store. Okay, so let's take a look around the box. And as we can see on the side of the box, it's got many different applications for airbrushing from fine arts to textile painting to nail art to scale model painting, which is what I personally use my airbrushes for. As we take a look around the other side of the box, we can see some of the key features of this airbrush. So first of all, it's a gravity feed dual action airbrush. It has a cutaway handle. It also has a preset handle at the back. And it also has a Mac valve standing for micro air control valve. So those are the key features of the airbrush. Let's take the airbrush out of the box and actually have a look at the contents of the Iwata Highline HP BH airbrush. So as we can see as we open up the box we can see we have a very brief guide or a quick start guide on how to airbrush. We have an Iwata sticker for your hobby bench. And we also have warranty information for your HP BH Awata airbrush. It's important to know that Awata offer a five year warranty on their airbrush products, but the airbrush company or airbrushes.com if you like, extend this warranty to 10 years on all Awata airbrushes, excluding the Neo for Awata range. Awata products are fantastic quality and this is backed up by the 10 year warranty that is offered by the airbrush company which I think is absolutely fantastic. Ok so let's take a look at what we get inside the box. So first of all we get a little spanner for taking off the fluid nozzle for when we want to clean out the fluid nozzle on the airbrush. We also get some super lube. This is a lubricant which is fantastic to lubricate your airbrush and keep it nice and smooth running for years to come. And of course we've got our beautiful Awata HP BH Highline Airbrush. And as you can see the chrome finish on it is so beautiful. Let's talk about some of the key features of the Iwata HP BH airbrush. So one of the key features that's not mentioned on the actual box itself, and you'll have to take my word for it guys, is the trigger mecha mechanisms Sorry, on Iwata airbrushes are so buttery smooth. They make the art of airbrushing effortless. Here I'm showing you the chucking nut. Uh, exposed on the cutaway on the preset handle. Now this is fantastic for pulling back on the um, chucking nut and you're able to in a pinch free up debris from the airbrush and carry on airbrushing if that happens. Also it's great for removing excess paint out of your airbrush cup really fast. Here I'm showing you the preset handle at the back or the paint limiting system if you like and what this basically does is, is if you dial it in it slowly eliminates travel to the airbrush trigger so you could dial it in and get exactly the same line weights out of your airbrush every single time. This airbrush has another fantastic airbrush which most airbrushes don't have which is a MAC valve standing for micro air control valve. 
And what this enables you to do is to turn the dial in and out to create airflow on the fly without going to your compressor to change the regulation on your compressor's regulator. It's brilliant to get such fine adjustments to the airflow on the airbrush using the MAC valve, especially for fine detail spraying. This airbrush has a 0.2mm needle nozzle set and is absolutely perfect for fine detail spraying. Coupled with a MAC valve, it's two great fantastic things that work harmoniously together. Okay, so let's do some spray tests. I'm using some Com Art Colors Red here from Awata Media. This is an airbrush ready paint, so I don't need to thin it. I just place it straight in the airbrush cup and we're going to do a few spray tests using the Awata HPBH airbrush. The important thing to note with this airbrush guys, as I mentioned earlier on in the video, it's a 0.2mm needle nozzle set and it's absolutely perfect for fine detail spraying. Now if you're going to use this airbrush in the scale modelling world, it will not be best for heavier paints, so primers and that sort of thing. You'd want a 0.35 needle nozzle uh, airbrush or larger for those sorts of tasks. But for fine detail spraying, this airbrush is absolutely perfect. Okay guys, so having talked a little bit about the key features and who I'd recommend this airbrush to, let's go and do some paint tests. So this is the very first time I've used this airbrush and straight out of the box it sprays beautifully guys as i say uh, in many of my previous videos over the years guys a water airbrushes spray so effortlessly and so smoothly and as you can see really fine lines was easily achievable with this airbrush and medium size uh, spray patterns are also really easy to achieve with this airbrush I sometimes get comments on my videos saying that my reviews are overly positive but to back up my personal reasons that my water reviews on over the years which now has been six or seven years reviewing a water products it's because in my personal opinion guys they are the best airbrushes and compressors on the market for sheer quality and the longevity that these products will last you. So who would I recommend the Awata Highline HPBH to? Well I'd re recommend it to uh, anyone that wants to do super fine detail work. So for example if you work in a nail salon and you want to do airbrush art on nails then this is the type of airbrush that would be perfect for that sort of task. If you want to use it for my type of hobby for example uh, scale model painting this is brilliant for doing object source lighting, for painting tiny 28mm miniatures and generally very fine detail work. As I mentioned at the start of the video, it's not going to be best for using heavier types of paint uh, like primers to prime your miniatures, but for super fine detail work this airbrush is absolutely perfect. So lastly guys, I want to say a huge thank you once again to airbrushes.com for sending me this airbrush out for review. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch this video guys and I'll catch you in the next one.